peeps, it's Azal here and today we're gonna talk about Irvin Goodman or with his Finnish name Antti Hammarberg. So if you're from Finland you would know about him but if you're an outsider like I am, I mean I just discovered about him last week and I loved his songs. So if you don't know about him we're gonna change this right here right now but before we start I want to give you a glimpse of what his music sounds like. Minut tunsi kaikki naiset kaupungin, ja minä kaikki naiset tietenkin sarmia riitti. All the information I gathered for this video came from Finnish friends of mine. Finnish Facebook group, any information written in, in Finnish translated by Google Translate because it was impossible to find anything written in English except a really short Wikipedia article. I might make mistakes, please go ahead and fix them in the comment section. Let's start from the childhood without getting super boring. Irwin was born in 1940s uh, in a southern city called Hemenlinna. He had a struggling childhood as I heard about it, uh, but I guess the most important thing about his childhood that we need to know is he met Vexi Salmi. Uh, they were childhood friends and Vexi Salmi is a name that became one of the most successful uh, lyricists in Finland afterwards and the duo worked together for many, many years. Imagine the fiery atmosphere of 1950s. All those crazy moves and the costumes and the hair of Alice Presley together with the cool kid James Dean. Well, it was told that this is exactly the time uh, when first gang starts to appear under the American influence in Finland. And back then, with his original name, Ante also is a part of one of those gangs in his city. And that's when he gets his first nickname, which is Hampari. <laughs> I asked about the meaning of the word to one of my Finnish friends, and he was asking about the context, trying to understand where I heard this word, because apparently Hampari means hamburger in Finnish slang. <laughs> so when you think about it, when you ask Finnish people about Irvin Goodman, the first thing you're gonna hear is that he had a very tough life because of the alcohol problem and he lost his house, blah blah. But as an outsider, I can see this sarcastic, like humorous side of his life. Uh, I wanna continue with uh, sharing some of his song names and you gotta get like what I'm talking about. I'm gonna use my WhatsApp messages for that. Uh, I let one of my friends translate it for me because Google Translate sucks when you want to use it with Finnish. Rantun Ruusu, which means the rose of the rascal. Eitippa tapa, one drop doesn't kill. Keisari, Irvin, I. Caesar, Irvin, I. <laughs> Kulkorin kulta, hobos darling. Let's continue with another song. Ei tippa tapa ja ämpäriin ei huku. Kun on alkuun päästy, niin antaa mennä maan. At the end of 1960s, he built this amazing looking house. It is the most magnificent and luxurious house around that time. And of course, he calls it Rysyranta, which translates as a rat house. <laughs> So he even makes a song about this house, but unfortunately he can't get to keep the house for a long time because apart from this humorous side of him, he has this hate against the Finnish taxation system, so he doesn't pay any taxes for the house. That's why like after some period, um, the house gets to be auctioned and also sold. But even on that sad day, there's a picture of him going to the roof and cheering up the people. <laughs> and then he makes a song named uh, Rysyranta Meni, which means Rysyranta goes, Wrecked House is gone, Wrecked House goes. Let's listen to that song. Loppu vihdoin koitti, paras kilvan voitti, ja voittajalle tietenkin myös hurrattiin. Ryysy meni, niin ja viimeiseni, no kerranhan se riipaisi taas naurettiin. We can say that after the sale, the life gets faster for him and he gets even more popular. And in the year 1974, 
he joins the Eurovision to compete for Finland and unfortunately he fails against Abba. I guess we'll never know how the life would have been for him if he had won the Eurovision. I'm guessing we would have known his name worldwide and sing his song just as we sing Abba's songs, but that didn't happen. And apart from that, actually the most horrible thing, in my opinion, that could ever happen to a musician had happened to him. He lost his hearing ability in 1980s. But that didn't stop him actually, he still was giving concerts, so he was not composing his songs anymore. He continued giving the concerts until 1990s and the artist had died in 1991 due to a heart attack and I'm just gonna read out loud his last words according to his friend. Kaasu pohjaan happi loppu. When you translate it, it's just like the oxygen is going, give the gas. So when you think about it, I think even for the last words, it's a humorous one. Obviously, it's not bright, it's not anything like super funny, you wouldn't make a fun of it, but it still feels like there was still humor even in his last moments. So I guess that's all for today, you guys. I hope you liked the video. Did you know about him before watching this? Or is it the first time you hear the name Irving Goodman? I mean, I know there, there must be so many brilliant musicians who sing in Finnish, but they're not so easy to find. So if you have any suggestions, and also, if you have any memories or any interesting information related to Irving Goodman, go write them down below. And I guess the thing that impressed me the most about his life was that he had many struggles, yet he held on to his humor. And obviously, I liked his music, I love Bob Dylan, and I can see the similarity in his music as well, even though he is his own character, he has his own style. So if you liked the video, go give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share, so you would share a part of Finnish culture which is presented in English language and it would reach to much more people. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this. I'm gonna see you on the next time. Moi moi, till the next one.